Hey everyone, Colgate here. And uh, today I'm going to be doing an interesting video on making Pikachu overpowered. So, this is going to be a quick match. Uh, then a Magic Scrumpy, for example, he does like an explanation. And then he moves on to like the you know, everything else, like the, the little montage. I'm just going to play a match for you. So, what, what basically, uh, what I tried to do with Pikachu is I looked at, you know, what he lacked, you know, when trying to make him OP. And I'm like, what, do, you know, what does Pikachu struggle with? Obviously, you know, killing. So I made his aerials a lot stronger, um, in, you know, in the air, obviously. As well as, and this is probably not gonna, you know, true combo or anything, but like, that's strong. That's way stronger. Um, so he could kill a lot easier with aerials. I made his uh, thunder combo a little bit stronger too, like the up throw thunder. And that's because a lot of people could still live it if they just DI correct, so it like, takes away one of his main kill options. I figured if you're going to be able to read their DI, you should know, have a good payoff um, as well. Not only that, I ma actually made his uh, forward air. Okay, so here's the thing, all his aerials have a lot of lag, like a lot of landing lag, so I just like reduced the landing lag of his aerials. Um, even his forward air. So that way his forward air actually is very good at comboing. Uh, frick, okay, there you go. At comboing into his up smash. So he can actually combo way easier now. Whereas before you needed rage and things like that. Um, so that's basically all the changes I made. To be honest, he didn't really need that many changes to become OP. Uh, maybe, I should, uh, maybe I should play another match just to show it off a bit more. Uh, which I think I'll do because this video is only two minutes long right now. So yeah, let's go another one. Let's go against Sheik. But yeah, so that, those are the basic changes that I made: making his aerial stronger, making his uh, thunder stronger as well. Uh, his landing lag was decreased by quite a bit in all his aerials, and overall his attacks are a little bit more damage. Just just, just teensy wins a bit. Just like quality of life damage, you know? And this Pikachu honestly is OP. I don't know if he'd be the best character in the game, but he probably he probably would be actually. Because look at this, I could just like like if they're at like 86%, they're not in danger of dying, but if they're like at a hundred percent, I could just fat fast fall fair. Which by the way is completely safe. do that. That's it. It's, P it's basically like Pikachu, but actually like really good at killing. That's, that's the main thing that I focus on, just making him really good at killing. Like one of his new, new uh, combo options or kill options is like up tilt into aerial, uh, which works at like 90% on the ledge or something, like 100% near the ledge. Ah, oh, that's so close. Yeah, look, look at that. It's crazy. This character is crazy. If he was in the game like this, he'd be the best character. Screw Bayonetta. Um, if you want to see any more uh, OP characters, you know, making X OP, be sure to let me know. Uh, this is just like a little fun thing that I that I did. I, I don't even know if he would be like legitimately OP, but you know, like looking at it, like removing his only weakness for the most part, or two of his weaknesses was just, you know. Struggle to kill and large landing lag. Though those, you know, that would be great. His only other weakness is range, but like, eh, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Maybe I can make his forward or like twice as big. That'd be funny. It'd be funny if I could do that. Anyways, that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good one.